Want to know the best places to import your action figures from? Well, in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys about my top five favorite websites to import action figures from. Absolutely fantastic. My top five favorite websites to import action figures from. Now, this question has been asked of me a lot, especially since I made that vlog on importing versus buying domestic. You can check out that video right now by clicking the card on screen. Great video, very informative. Now, don't take the placement of each website on this list as one is better than the other. Each website is absolutely fantastic. You need to use these websites in tandem with one another to get what you want and what you need for your collection. We're gonna kick things off with Zen Market, but first, give this video a like, subscribe, and check out Cavity Colors. Cavity Colors is your number one source for horror, sci-fi, and kaiju clothing. With stunning officially licensed art, a huge selection of franchises, and high quality clothing, Cavity Colors is the place to go. I especially love the Godzilla collections, which I proudly own and wear on stream. Check out Cavity Colors today. Use the affiliate link in the description below and get 10% off your first order today. Zen Market is an absolutely fantastic website I've been shopping with for over four years. Now, Zen Market is not a website you buy figures directly from. Zen Market is a Japan shopping service, AKA a proxy service. So what that means is I use Zen Market to buy directly from Amazon Japan, the Premium Bandai Japan website for Thomas Web exclusives, the X Plus Rick website for those light up exclusives, and other websites that do not sell their products or exclusive items internationally. So this is a very cool and very invaluable tool. Now, the service fee for Zen Market is only $3 per item. That's really not a big deal. You know, some websites they charge like 15% the total purchase. So again, Zen Market definitely gives you a great deal when it comes to using them as your proxy service. So how this all works, we'll go down here in the instructions, all you have to do, find the item you want online from your favorite Japanese website. You'll copy and paste the URL, click search. Then Zen Market will confirm they can get the item for you, which is this get quote portion here. Then they'll send you a payment request, which will be the price of the item. You'll wait a few days. Zen Market will get the item in stock after you've paid for it. Then you request shipping plus that $3 service fee pay the shipping, they'll ship it out, and boom, you have your awesome figure at your home, which is definitely very cool. Now let's actually go ahead and do this live. So what we're gonna do is let's head on over to uh, Amazon Japan. So let's go ahead and get, uh, let's type in S.H. Figure Arts Ultra Man, right? So here are the SH Figure Arts Ultraman figures that are on the Amazon Japan website. So you know, Amazon Japan is more likely to have our Bandai figures over our USA website. So boom, we got pretty much everything over here. So let's say, um, let's keep it simple. Yeah, here we go. Shinkocho Seiho Hayata here, right? So boom, we have the cool figure here. Very nice, very neat, very cool. Remember that catchphrase? It's all here, only one left in stock. Very nice, so all we have to do is go over to Zen Market. We're going to copy and paste that figure's URL. We'll hit the search bar here and it might take a moment or two for it to populate. So now the item's been added to the cart, so we'll go to our account. And as you can see, Zen Market will be checking to see if they can purchase the item, we're gonna go ahead and confirm that. Once it's been confirmed, you'll get a request to pay, then it'll be shipped in, then you can request shipping, and then send it on to your home, which is definitely very cool. Now, Zid Market offers DHL, I think, UPS, and EMS shipping. There may be some other shipping options. To find out more, check out the website itself. But boom, Zen Market, a very cool website and a valuable source. Let's do one more example really quick before we move on. Let's go over to the X Plus Rick website here. So boom, we have the brand new uh, favorite sculptors line, Mechagodzilla, with the 
metallic finish i think i might have to pick this bad boy up this is really cool so if we want to get this through zen mark because the exclusive has the light up features i believe yep so what we'll do let's exit a full screen mode really quick we're gonna copy this url and we'll go back to full screen go back here go back to zen market we'll paste that for the rick website okay and then again um where it's a bit more of a unique item you'll get this pop-up you may not get that necessarily windowed preview but it's okay we'll go ahead and click add go to my account again zen market will verify if they can get the rick exclusive mecha godzilla if they can they'll give a pay request and as you can see here for ultraman figure they got a request they confirm they can buy it there's the uh market fees i guess the market fee is right as they find the figure and then boom you pay it and that's it so zen market is definitely a very cool website and invaluable when it comes to buying those japanese exclusive items so absolutely check out zen market it is one of my top five favorite websites to use when importing figures from japan Ami Ami is an absolutely fantastic website I've been using for well over 11 years. Now, Ami Ami works just like any other website you've ever shopped from. As you can see, Ami Ami sells pretty much everything. We have our X Plus Mechagodzilla there we just looked at. Uh, video games, figures, Basojo, uh, Mafex, SH Monsarts, SH Figuarts, um, Metal Build, Robot Damashi, pretty much absolutely everything is here and also too ami ami does get in its own exclusive items which is pretty neat so if we go back up here to the top you'll see all the products are in different categories so you have your uh figures your toy categories so of course what we shop for here is the tokusatsu toys and if we click over here you'll see this will populate so we got mecha godzilla we got the chugen z i don't know this cool Kong figure here, we've got the CCP Hedorah. Pretty much everything is here for pre-order, which is great. Now, Ami Ami does not necessarily sell Tomashi Web exclusives directly, but they do have them on the website under their pre-owned section. So how this works, if you need a web exclusive you missed out on, we'll go back to the main page here as soon as it populates. So we'll type in Tamashi Web, which I think I misspelled, but they'll get the gist. No, let's see. T A M A S H I. Well, I can't spell. T A M A S H I I. There we go. So we can look at our Tamashi Web figures I have here that are pre owned. Now, again, there is a difference between used and Japanese use, and we'll get into that when we talk about another website later in this video. But if you're looking for a web exclusive you may have missed, type in Tamashi Web and you'll be able to see the used, or we'll say Japanese used Tamashi Web exclusive figures they have in stock. Now again, I want to emphasize, there is a huge difference between used and Japanese used. And also when you check out the items, you'll get to see the condition they're in as well. So then we got two with the uh, item condition A, uh, box is B, A, B. So basically if the item condition is A, it's brand new and the box might have a little bit of wear or rubs on it, but we'll explain a bit later. Now Ami Ami is an absolutely fantastic website and it's one of the main websites I use to pre-order our standard releases from. So we click on this Mechagodzilla figure here. You'll see the pricing's not bad and also, Ami Ami has a very cool point system. So this figure is basically 21,000 yen. So you will get 212 points for uh, rewards here. Now, these points basically equate to one yen. So it's gonna take a while for you to amass enough points to give you a worthwhile discount because you can apply your points to your discount at the end of checkout, which is pretty cool, but um, it's going to require a lot of shopping to build up points, but still, I appreciate every little bit because, you know, every little discount helps. So this is very cool. Now, something I wanted to mention about Ami Ami, I have noticed within the past few months, I think this is basically because of the pandemic, the shipping cost has gone up a tiny bit. It seems like they're charging a little bit more than usual for like DHL and EMS shipping. So it's something to be aware of. It's not that bad, but Ami Ami does charge 
slightly higher than normal when it comes to shipping figures off from here. But this is a great website. And also too, when it comes to pre-ordering from Ami Ami, you only have to pay for the figure once it is in stock and shipping has been calculated, which is definitely very cool. Ami Ami is yet another fantastic website to use when you want to import your action figures from, and that is why it is in my top five. Anime Export is another absolutely fantastic website I've been using for over 11 years. This website is yet another invaluable tool when it comes to importing my action figures. And also, I guess Anime Export is a rare gem because it seems like barely anybody knows about this website and has a lot of great things to offer. So Anime Export has their figures in two different categories. We have pre-orders and in stock. So we click on the pre-orders tab. You'll see everything they have up for pre-order, which you would see at most websites, which is really, really cool. We've got a lot of great stuff here and tons of things that are up for pre-order. Now, when it comes to pre-ordering figures from Anime Export, we'll check out this Aerith figure here. You will see you have the option to pay now or pay later. So we do the pay now price, that's you know 10,800 yen. But if we pay later, the price goes up a little bit to 11,400 yen, which is pretty cool. So you have the option to pay for it now and forget about it or pay for it later once you've saved up money and are ready to pay for it once it's up for release, which is a really cool option. Now, for me personally, I would rather pay up front and forget about it because that's the way I roll. Might as well go ahead and pay for it, and that way, if anything unforeseen pops up, you don't have to cancel any pre-orders, but maybe we'll make a video about that later. Let's go back to the main page. So, you see the options for pre-ordering. Now, something that makes Anime Export a really fantastic website is this. Anime Export allows you to pre-order Tamashi Web exclusive figures. So let's type in M-O-N-S-T-E-R-A-R-T-S. -E so Monster Arts, and look who is here up for pre-order. The Tamashi Web exclusive Mecha King Ghidorah Shinjuku Final Battle Special Set Tamashi Web exclusive figure, which is really nice. Now, when it comes to pre-ordering Tamashi Web exclusive figures, you only have the option to pay now at Anime Export. So again, I don't mind that at all. And something else that's pretty cool, as far as I'm aware, uh, Anime Export is right next to some kind of Bandai distribution center. So as soon as Bandai figures are released, they get them instantly the day of the release. So you can go ahead and request shipping either like the day it's released or the right after the day it's released in Japan and get it as fast as possible. So that is very, very cool. Now, the second category of figures in Anime Export's arsenal are the in-stock figures. Now, in-stock, that seems like it's not a big deal, but this is a really, really, really cool perk of Anime Export. So with the in-stock figures, it is a mixture of figures that are left over pre-orders, right? So. Uh, maybe there were some canceled pre-orders and have a few left over that are in stock, but also they get in new Japanese used items and just regular new items pretty much every day. So if we scroll down, you'll see we have uh, the Revel Tech, Buzz Lightyear, and Woody. We've got some Damashi figures here. We got some type of Macross figure here. And then also we have like some cool art books and things like that. And also Again, these are some of these are brand new, others are Japanese used items, so you'll have the grading here as well. And again, we'll get into a deep dive about used and Japanese used uh, later in this video. But boom, we got the Chigokin Gundam Factory Yokohama RX 78F00 Swagatry right here in stock and brand new. So there's no question about, you know, Japanese used or American used, which is pretty cool. So pretty much new figures all the time. And also there'll be older figures that popped up that, you know, you kind of forgot about. Like for instance, we have this uh, Tomashi Nation's 2010 Saint Seiya Myth Cloth Appendix Series Swagger Tree, which is uh, very nice. And it'll list the condition A, A rank, B, C. I don't think they sell anything below a C rank, but again, anything you might've missed can pop up 
on here randomly, which is pretty cool. So again, if you missed out on something, check the in-stock items section. If you're trying to pre-order, go ahead and pre-order something. Now, another cool aspect of Anime Export as well is they do have their own version of a private warehouse. So when you order a figure and it comes in the stock, you'll have to go ahead and uh, pay for it either now or later. And then once you've paid for it, you can choose when you want to ship it. There is no limit to how long Anime Export will hold figures for you. One time, I think I had a huge shipment. I think I had figures saved up for over seven months. So I had like this massive box shipped out from them. But again, they held onto it for a long time because you know some websites have a limit on how long they're willing to hold a figure for you before they request you to pay for it and go ahead and ship it on out. So again, Anime Export, an absolutely fantastic website. The biggest perk, you can actually pre-order Tommy's Web exclusives from here and guarantee you're gonna get it. So definitely cool website, you need to check it out. And it is absolutely one of the reasons why this website is one of my top five places to use when importing action figures. Again, Anime Export, absolutely fantastic. Definitely check it out. Mondrake is yet another absolutely fantastic website that I use to import action figures. Now, I did say that, you know, this list is in no particular order, but this website definitely ranks at number one or possibly number two. Mondrake is a super special place. So Mondrake is a series of stores throughout Japan that literally gets in absolutely everything. We're talking about action figures, cosplay items, designer toys, auctionable items, animation cells, trading cards, gashapon, pretty much anything you can imagine is available on Mondrake and this website truly is an invaluable resource. Now, they try to categorize things on here, but there's so much stuff on Mondrake it really is insane. Now again, it is a chain of stores throughout Japan. Each store gets in new items every day and each store gets in different new items. So it gets really crazy. Now, remember when we talked about the difference between used and Japanese used. So what I mean by Japanese used, in Japan, it seems like they have an extremely high standard with what they consider a used item, which is pretty interesting. So imagine, I have an SH Monster Arts figure, right? The figure has not been taken out of the box or handled in any way, shape, or form, but the ceiling tape has been cut. Just because that tape has been cut, they'll instantly call that figure used, when by all standards and rationality, it's still brand new, which is really cool. So pretty much when you buy things on Mondrake, everything is basically brand new unless otherwise stated. And what I primarily use Mondrake for is to buy figures that I missed the pre-order window on, forgot even existed, or just had a change of heart and say, hey, I want that figure now. It's sold out everywhere else, but there's a chance it'll show up on Mondrake. So let's go ahead and check this out. So everyone always goes, oh, you tell them to go to XYZ website and all the SH Monsters figures are out of stock. That's because you waited too late to even try to buy them. Again, we'll talk about the another video, but let's type in SH Monster Arts and see, well, I'm sorry, and I'm typing as I'm talking and see what they have. So boom, right off the rip, Look at our SH Monster Arts figures here. We have the Hedorah set. Uh, the Shin Awakening version is here, but you'll see it's sold out. Now, if an item on Mondrake is sold out, that is okay. There's a chance it could come in at any time, so all you have to do once you've made an account here is click the alert. You'll have an alert set on that item, so if and when it comes in stock, no matter what store, you'll get an email alert. You can jump online and instantly buy that figure and have it shipped to your home, which is really cool. So let's look through here for older releases. We've got Godzilla 62 for 100, or sorry, yeah, 18,000 yen. So um, that's like 150 bucks. We've got the uh, Godzilla 2017 anime figure, which I wasn't really a fan of now that I've reflected on it. We got the uh, second and third form of Shin. Pretty much everything is here. 
and anything that is sold out, just set an alert and just wait for your chance for it to come in stock, which is really cool. The Ava Godzilla here. We got Frozen Shin here that is in stock. We can cart. And there's various buying options for each figure. So let's go ahead and check out the original Gigan 2004 release and see what options we have here. So let's click on this. And again, it's available at multiple stores. So this one is unopened and the package is damaged. Again, they'll consider every little tiny minor ding and dent as damage. So again, we collect figures, we don't collect boxes, right? So boom, we have an option to buy this figure here. All you have to do is create your account, add to your cart, and then what they'll do is once you've placed your order, they'll go to the particular store that the figure is available at. So this one is at Grand Chaos. They'll go into the store, make sure it's still available there because when you're buying from Andrake, you're also kind of competing with those who might come in off the street to buy a figure. So again, they'll verify it's in stock. Once they verify it's in stock, they will request payment and shipping. And that's pretty much it. Mondrake ships super fast. And if you get your order in by a certain time, they'll ship same day, which is really cool. So we have different options here to buy our SH Monsters Gigan 2004 from four other stores. Shibuya, Sahara, I think, uh, Kokura, and uh, Yuta. So you can see the prices vary. So that means it could be in a different condition what we're seeing here. So this one's at 18 yen. So let's see what it's like over at uh, Nayuta. So let's click on that and see what's going on over here. So this one is unopened, but the package is damaged heavily. And all I'm seeing here is just the corners. A little bit of grossness on the top. But again, as long as the figure's fine, it doesn't even matter. So again, Mondrake is really fantastic. Let's type in something else that's kind of uh, crazy. We can type in, because um, something that I did that I got into recently was the uh, Gundam Metal Composite Figures. So, you know, these figures have been out for a long time. Whoops, I think I misspelled that. Let's see. Uh, Gundam Metal Composite. There we go. Now, you know, I was not aware of these figures and I slowly got into them as you guys saw reviewed the RX-78 and the Sharzaku and I was like, hey, you know, um, never had an interest in these figures, but suddenly I do. Boom. They have them here. Same situation. Items are in stock. Now this website now is in Japanese for some reason. Click back to English. As you can see, everything is here. Even older releases, you guys go, hey. What about Ultra Act? Well, they still have a few Ultra Act figures in stock and new items come in daily. So boom, we got our Ultra Act Ace, Taro. We got our Leo, Astra, Zafi, Agul, or Renewal Ultraman. Everything is here. And if it's not currently in stock, just set an alert and there is a chance it will come in stock. I'll give you another prime example. Guyver, right? Some of us are still trying to collect our Biofighter collection figures. Boom, here's a good one. We got Gyot on here for 11,000 yen. So that's like, what, maybe a little under $100 or something like that. So this is really a really great website. And again, um, with the Giver situation, I managed to pick up the uh, Giver one with the additional head. Something I never thought I would own popped up on here randomly. So, you know, that this figure is probably like over... It might be over 10 years old, fed online, brand new, fully wrapped, and it had the pamphlet inside to let you know it truly was brand new, got that off of Mondrake. So again, you never know what you will find on this absolutely fantastic website. So definitely give Mondrake a try. You can find literally anything and everything on here, pre-orders you missed, Tomashi Web exclusives, everything is here and pretty much everything in between. So Mondrake, a fantastic website. Shipping here is not bad at all. It's pretty standard and yeah, it's a great place. And it's, you know, that is in my top five when it comes to importing action figures. Now, one website I gotta give a quick honorable mention to is Hobby Genki. I've been using Hobby Genki for about two years now and it's a pretty good website. Special shout out to Daryl Banks for putting me up on this website. Now, Hobby Genki does offer 
a wide selection of pre-orders, but it's not as varied as some of the other websites, but you can still pre-order some pretty cool stuff here. Now, what makes Hobby Ginky a very cool website and comes in in clutch moments is the fact that you can actually pre-order Tamashii Web exclusives from here. So as you can see, we have our SH Monsters Mecha King Ghidorah here, Shinjuku Decisive Battle Special Set, and we can actually pre-order this, which is pretty cool. Now, Hobby Ginky does require payment up front for Tanashi Web exclusives. Now, um, for some other items, you can do a pay later option, but for web exclusives, they need that payment up front, which is cool. Now, Hobby Ginky offers FedEx, EMS, and DHL shipping. And one thing I like about Hobby Ginky, once your item is in stock, since you've already paid for everything up front, they do not waste any time at all, and they'll ship your order right on out. So again, Hobby Ginky, a cool website and a nice honorable mention. It's not my main website, but sometimes this website does come in clutch. Hobby Link Japan is an absolutely fantastic website that is very near and dear to me. This is the very first website I ever used to import an action figure from, and the first figure I got was the very first SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1994. Hobby Link Japan really is an absolutely fantastic place. Now, I have already made a full video detailing how to use Hobby Link Japan. Click the card on screen to see the website in full detail. But high level for this video, Hobby Link Japan really is fantastic. They sell absolutely everything, SH Monster Arts, SH Figure Arts, model kits, and everything in between like this hyper modeling series thing that I think I might actually pre-order. These look pretty cool. But again, Hobby Link Japan really is great. Now, a really cool feature that Hobby Link Japan has is its private warehouse feature. Recently, they have removed the 45 or 65 day limit for holding figures on their private warehouse. So now, it seems like you can actually store your figures in the private warehouse indefinitely, which is really cool. Now, when it comes to pre-ordering figures over at Hobby Link Japan, payment is not required until the figure is in stock you'll pay for the figure and then you can pick and choose when you want to ship it out and they have a variety of shipping options dhl fedex ems and a few others but hobby Link japan really is a great website and something else that's cool about hobby Link japan they often have seasonal and flash sales like we have going on here so the chugokin heroes i remember these from like really long time ago but they have random things on sale all the time and seasonally so most websites you don't see these big store-wide sales like that it's only Hollywood Japan that really has those like year-end sales fall sales Christmas sales happy new year sales so again Hobby Link Japan really is a great place just for the fun let's check out our SH monsters let's see what they have in stock right now M-O-N whoops M-O-N-S-T-E-R-A-R-T-S Let's see what we have in stock here. And they don't have anything in stock Monster Arts wise, which is unfortunate, but again, as new Monster Arts figures come up for pre-order, definitely check out Hobby League Japan in your rotation. Now, Hobby League Japan does not sell Tamashi Web exclusives. This place is great for standard release figures nonetheless. But again, Hobby League Japan, absolutely fantastic. To learn more about this website in depth, make sure to check out my video about how to shop at Hobby League Japan, which will be in the description and a card. So there you have it, my top five favorite websites to import action figures from. Again, each website is absolutely fantastic, reliable, and trustworthy. Remember though, you need to use each website in tandem with one another to get what you want and what you need for your collection. Not every website sells the same figures or not every website sells the same figures at the same time. So an example, Anime Export may have a 3-0 figure that's not available over at Ami Ami and say the pre-orders for a certain figure you might want may go up faster over at Hobby Link Japan, but slower at, we'll say, um, Ami Ami. So again, you need to kind of cycle between all these websites to get what you want for your collection. Now let's go ahead and knock out a couple of questions I know I'm gonna get in the comments. The first one, how much is shipping? 
Go to the website and use the shipping calculator for a proper estimate. Each website has a shipping calculator. The next one. Well, all the SH Monsters figures are sold out. That lets me know you're a new collector. You can use Mondraka to get caught up, but for most of your primary retail websites, the SH Monsters figures are all sold out because they're older releases. Maybe we'll make a video on how to get caught up when it comes to collecting and how to stay caught up when it comes to collecting. And then finally, my favorite question that gets under my skin, but I don't have any yen, how can I buy from here? Yeah. Well guys, this concludes the video. I hope you found it informative. Now you have five great places to get your action figures from. Uh, before we go, I'm still working on my Blitzway Voltron review. I know it seems to been forever, but hang in there, it's coming soon. Again, guys, thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. Thanks.